one of the South America region. Um, I'm super excited to see how this one breaks down. Yeah, as I said, it's it's all at this point a matter of who's going to excite us the most. That that is it. I, really, that's what it should always be. Who's going to excite us the most? Put on a show. I think that's uh you know same thing with fights, right? Like boxing, UFC, any of that stuff. It's all the same kind of thing. Like let's who's the let's guy see that the McGregor show. Fought? Uh, Khabib. Khabib. He knows how to put on a show. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we are in to our game, match one of South America, and there we go. Right off the bat, we can see Strike Zone gonna pick up an M9. Looks like he has a decent amount of stuff he can find. He's got here. the crown. He's already he's already got the win in the bag. That's all right. Strike Zone doesn't win, then that's it. I just I just cast just, a curse at him, cast curse. which yeah, makes me feel it. awful because I know that one did. You are but it's literally the worst it's, cursed it's fine. caster I've ever worked with. I dude, most cursed. I, I am back in Z1 early. My early casting on this. Yeah. I I could just like have people eliminated. I was like I could just, just hire. Willed it I just so. willed it so and like Hitman would take out whoever I talked about. <laughs> It was really scary to talk about. It's like, oh, I gotta cast my friend. My friend's on screen. Uh, <laughs> oh, unlucky. Just don't talk about him. Well, early on, just going for that back to strike zone here. He's picked up his helmet. I like the color choice he's going with. I wonder if he's gonna try to use this camo to his advantage later on. Maybe, perhaps, just duck down into some cherry bushes. But we do have shots right now between Aichinosa and Bruin the King. It's another name I feel like I recognize actually. Brun, Brun, wait, Brunin the King? Br Brunin? Brunin the King. Where do you go with Brunin the King? Yeah. That's we'll just call him, part. We're going to call him the King. The King? All there right, that's go. fair. That's, that's easy, right? That's the King. I'm going to call this guy Ichi then. Yeah, Ichi's going to be oh. coming up on him. He's actually pretty far back there. He's actually behind that next ridge line. He's 180 yeah. meters out. Um, I don't think they're going to run into each other at all. It does look like but, he's kind of heading in that direction. Maybe he's Ichi for a kill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Zones up. I'm done. I'm going home, guys. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta get out of here. All right. That opening zone is gonna be a V shot's peak. That's I have a chance at it. Yeah. So we talked about it a little bit earlier. This is one of my favorite ending zones. Um, to play in personally. Mm -hmm. that, so mm -hmm. I really like the feel and the vibe of the top of Vishan's Peak. Yeah. Once the gas closes in, there's a lot of those spots where you can kind of like wrap the side of the hill and find a rock and you can kind of take blind spots. It allows for some not flanking be able plays. To jump back up. Not be able to. <laughs> uh, you can get back up most of the time on Vishan's <laughs> Peak. It's not quite as brutal as the gorge. Uh, but it's a really cool kind of ending zone when it does finish right around. Um, you can see this dot right off the edge of the K on peak, and it has the uh, little watchtower there. Yep. Um, is there that little ridge line there is a pretty fun one. So for I'm me. really expecting Allison, Black, Steins, Pasaki, Z1 NA maybe. Um, I like that he's already going for this position, but those players who are in Cranberry right now are going to have a whole nother circle set to actually loot and try to find more and i have a feeling those are the players you may see later on it was the people who are going to be spawning outside north like top northwest northeast and even straight north that are probably going to have to get a little less gear concede to a vehicle and get to the zone that i'm a little more afraid of i mean this zone actually works pretty well where they don't have to leave that late you got to remember in in the opening zone that we saw on the eu it was the southwest corner. Yep. There was guys in the northeast, and they left after the gas had passed them, and they made it. The gas doesn't hurt true. at the that start. The gas so hurt. if you can t if you can get enough med kits, especially in these zones that are farther away, and they don't have to travel as far. So I think this is actually whenever it's a center circle, it's really. Oh. I mean, think of ooh, there's a Ooh, there's quick our kill. kill. That's our first kill. That's going to be the first elim of the game. So they're going to be able to pick one up. And, um, and that's literally one of the players I said I expected to do well and go far. Caster curse. Oh no, Caster you're curse rubbing off on me. I'm so sorry. Darn. So they are gonna, we're gonna get that opening left. But th those center circles, think about like um, on the Z2 map, right? Mm -hmm. they, when, we, when it first came out, it was really, it just kind of always centered around PV. Right. You could always make the zone, always. Right. right. So it, it's to me, it's one of those ones where you have a lot of time. You're not feeling any pressure. If these are guys that have been playing long enough and they understand the gas circles, they're not worried at all about this. Well, it looks like Steins isn't done. He actually seems to be looking after Black, but also elsewhere, more players are getting close to each other. This is what, JX? JDX. JDX. I don't know why my eyes can't see when they're moving. It's like the third time I've done that. It's one of those, I, 
I I understand. It, it's like that for me in most video games that use mm -hmm. use uh, the names above the head. It's just kind of moving and it's hard to see when it goes across different things. But uh, it is JDX. I will read it for you. There you go. I probably could have looked at the bottom of the screen too. Probably. Little. This is what this is what you get. All as right. I said. I'm gonna hop right back in here as the circle <laughs> takes off. Um, and, and again, these guys need to move, but they nobody's really in a bad spot. Um, you can see players that we did talk about at the beginning. Bull, he's somebody that we've seen in a lot of these that's played in different regions and different showdowns. Um, showing up to a couple of the LAN events. He's somebody that I'm expecting to probably do really well here. Uh, getting an early spot, I actually like what he's doing. He's taking that south side of the zone. Right. He doesn't want to play center zone yet because this next circle is the hard shift, right? This Correct. is the one that we don't know where it's at. So if he goes and takes that, he's going to have the high ground. He'll be looking down on everything. He'll have ridge lines to hide. It looked like he was moving fast enough that he's probably in a vehicle. Um, I like that spot to start off before you make the rotation to whatever the next zone is. And if it pulls to you, you're already sitting You're pretty. all set. Yeah, so. it's like just perfect. Well... Tizen, Tizen, making his way over. He's actually getting relatively close to Grizzly. Can't tell if he might know they're there, but it looks like he is going to pull away. So, no action. Things are going to be a little slow here. We're only got 43 people here left in this game. And I, I feel like Urson played uh, in the last showdown. I cast it as well. It seems like a familiar name, and I think he did pretty well. Very possibly. I'm, wait, I'm waiting to see the first gold AR pop up in the in the feed. Yeah, who's already been here, done that? Right. This is again. We're we're talking about 43 people in the circle, so they're they're feeling they're gonna have a little bit more breathing room mm -hmm. than EU. EU was stacked all the way up to like 77, 78 players, and yep. had it had the reserve players in. Like, yep. Uh, they got a little bit more room, so they're gonna be able to last another circle or so. So, uh, don't think that you're going. Cardo, I blame. <laughs> yeah, Cardo. I, Cardo's trying to disrupt. Cardo the is stream. trolling, the, trolling me right now. I 100% blame Cardo. Um, <laughs> God, what was I even talking about, man? Uh, you were talking about the zones and how they have a little bit more time because there's. Less yeah, they're people. gonna okay. They're gonna have a little yeah. bit more breathing room, so they're gonna make it probably before we really see the kill feed light up. Probably circle number three. It's gonna be a lot of posturing, of uh, one or two kills here or there, but a lot of players just gonna be posturing up as they work their way towards circle three and four. Yeah, I think the bubble burst will happen a little bit later this time around. We won't see, because usually that 30 kills between 70 and 40 happens right around fourth circle, maybe fifth circle, depending. Sometimes it could be third, yeah. But we're not going to see it probably till. It really depends on if it's a city or not, right? Right, right. If it's an open field, you see the bubble burst sooner because there's not as much cover. Mm -hmm. um, but that second game that had all of PV in the safe zone, yep. that one bursted much later. But it bursts so much harder when you have those. Yeah, it, it's much quicker. The kill feed's basically a just a constant like scroll. You have to feed. rap got it. Yeah. Yeah. I which I can't do. No. No. I should try. You should try. Try to rap got it later. <laughs> I mean, that's on you. Uh, if you're feeling, if you're feeling if it, if I'm feeling up to rap guarding, mm. yeah. All right, we'll see, we'll see. Feeling froggy leap, bud. <laughs> you got it. I like that. Feeling yeah. froggy leap. I haven't heard that one. I forget what I took that from. I think it's from a song somewhere. <laughs> if not, it should be. Well, look, our zone did not hard shift. Our zone is just kind of doing what you which, want it to do. Which is kind of what I was talking. Well, not really. It no? is shifting more south. It's. I don't. I don't think it's gonna. It, end on Vichon's unless it pulls a hard it hard pulls north off this next one mm -hmm. but it's working right now to Bull's advantage so you're talking about yep. that he's up in the hills yep. he's got line of sights down he's got a lot of different ridge lines and stuff that he can hide a vehicle in to where it's not going to lose his car um, and he's in circle to set up for the next one so this is the spot that he wanted to be he felt comfortable with loot already go take a spot it's set up for that not the circle that's coming mm -hmm. but the one after it What's really interesting, the biggest difference between solo games and those five games that we tend to see more often is the fact that Bull's going to be up there. He's not going to be spamming bullets. He's not going to be running out of stuff because you don't need to. Like right now, we're seeing Frostfire into a very obvious vehicle, put shots down and get that damage on that vehicle. But what you're not seeing him is spamming the AR because he doesn't see somebody or to hope to hit that random helmet for that big war of attrition. And I think that actually will be strong for Bull in the long run. Yeah. 
Uh, one of the other things to note, just for everybody watching at home or uh, at work or in class or wherever you are, yeah, in your they, bed, they, on your toilet, whether you're supposed to be, watching. wherever you're watching from, uh, one of the things to note, we had a couple questions come in from the first round mm -hmm. on EU, it was kind of talking about like people doing like a weird, it looked like they jumped and they kind of flew into the yeah. cardo. If you walk by here one more time, coming out <laughs> there, I'm fighting you. Uh, they kind of look like they were floating. That is not on the client side. That's not what the player's seen. Right. That's because we're connecting to a region with the spectate cameras from here in San Diego yeah. to regions outside. So you sometimes, which sometimes it'll. you can even connect to on your own. Yeah, but you. Because the ping is so bad. Uh, correct. So, so um, yeah. we're kind of overriding that and getting the spectators in. So you are going to see some of those things happen. Just know that the player's not seeing that. That's not what's actually yeah. happening. You'll see it running e much closer. Ready? It's pretty esports ready. We've proven it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we can start to hear some bullets firing off in the distance. Ooh. Tizen's going to pick up Nexus. So, again, these players are starting to see each other, which is the key. You're not seeing a lot of long range shots. You are actually seeing battles happen. And now it looks like Delhi wants to push up on that other player in front of uh, Nexus. Yeah, we're going to switch over real quick to Johnny. Johnny Fast. He's going to run around. Looks like he's going to start looting up some... Uh, Man, he's moving so some, fast. Some gas can. Oh! And out comes... Fra, frajola? 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 Fra, I mean, I'm going with Fraj, Frajola. Frajola? Frajola going to come out, get a quick two pumps into him, take him out immediately. Going to come out, loot up, and return to home. I really think that he's... ATV, dude, he is set up, dude. That like you got to be real comfortable in your house to park an, uh, like a, a motor vehicle inside. I mean, that can really mess with the floor. It's not you good for could, it. If it leaks, yeah. oil leak, oh, yeah, that's not good. Oil leak, that could actually Think damage the wood at the, underneath the carpet. It's uh, not good. He feels comfortable with it, though. <laughs> Deli loses a helmet, needs to get another one back on, gets one on, but takes a couple hits to the body, is going to be down to one shot, able to get behind the tree. Those f shots coming in from Vamsi, and it sounds like he is going to press. Only gets one bandage off, and we are over to another fight here as uh, Frost and in in in. Kisoa? Kisoa. Just Kisoa. Kisoa. We're going to go with Kisoa. We're going to fight Delhi. Back on that fight for a second. Vamsi with the aggression. Going to be able to finish that one off. Gets the kill. And back to Kisoa in this fight against Frost. Gets a couple hits. Oh. Going to eliminate him. So Kisoa going to get an elim there as well. Sit down in the car. Get healed back up. Probably go uh, claim a little bit of loot. Now he has no one to worry about where he is. He's perfectly safe. No we know that. Whatsoever. He does not. Yeah, that's true, but... It's good for, for him to know. Look vehicle at that. Health car, really low. Yeah. yeah, that vehicle is dinged up. Vamsi, who we just saw crush out a fight a moment ago, is now in dire need of some healing. Needs to get out of there. Really low on gas. Just needs to try and get away and get the heal rolling. That might have been the opportunity there. He's going to go ahead and try and use the tree, though, to give himself a couple more moments. Krabby was the one delivering those blows to the vehicle. Kisoa now in another fight, and this is going to be in strike zone. We just talked about his car being so low, and it's even lower now as Kisoa just put four more bullets yep. into it. That thing's got to be down in the – got to be right around 28, 29. He's, he's, probably, he's probably sitting, yeah, probably right around 30-ish. But Vamsi going to be able to swap over. Looks like he's trying to grab this Jeep. This has got to be that the Elam that he got earlier, got the guy yep. in the car, so looting Delhi up there. And now Ichi is going to be up above both Chabuk and Ursin, but Ursin's pretty far away. won't be a factor. The box got to be able to see him right now, right? He's got to be just over this ridge. Possibly. That could have been a, a timing god issue right there where he didn't see him because he was running along the edge. He may have been a little low, didn't have the camera angle there. Next there. circle still pulling south. Bull looks like he's rotated out of there. He's actually over on that southeast corner kind of by DeSoto now, mm -hmm. so he's moved. He's kind of running into people, though, but look at the east side of that circle as they all come rotating in from just north of DeSoto. There's a good 10 to 12 guys there. I expect that to be where the bubble burst occurs. Look at Ichi right on top of Chabuk right now. He's trying to push around the side of the rock, but Chabuk's coming up top. Got to pay attention, buddy, because he's right there. Puts in a ton of bullets. What is Chabuk trying to do? How is he able to get out of here? He's not. He's not able to get that out of here AR at all. AR will hit him in the back, take him down. So Ichi now with his first kill. So one of the things we didn't see there is because, uh, again, we're trying to bounce around, catch multiple fights. Is that ooh, another fight there as Krabby Hus gets deleted by Vamsi? Uh, how did he get to him? It's open field. He didn't have a vehicle. He walked, clearly. He did. He walked over to him when the other player had... The ridge line had the vision should have that that should have been a field day for him. 
and for some reason he gets right up on top of him. Got right up on top of him, and he looked surprised that, to see him. He yeah. like looked alarmed at like, where did you come from? Um, and tried to run away. What did I say about Strike Zone's outfit? Strike Zone with the clutch plays going. <laughs> this <laughs> full is, bush wookie. So I know for a fact I didn't play it, but I know I've heard many stories about these bushes. Is that an original scarecrow or is that a toxic scarecrow? That looks like an original. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the original one. So that looks like a 3D Zimmerman <sighs> original. So he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Zim he's just, rocking a Zim yeah, helmet. There we go. Well, he knows what the best skins in the games are, so, you know. I, I mean, he clearly does. Mm -hmm. They match perfectly with that bush. All right, Talk7 going to be hanging out here in the bathroom. Oh, this is one of those bathrooms that we've Dylan, seen a lot that? of people play, and these are the spots that they play. Typically, you want to play inside. Guy comes inside or throws a throwable through the window. You bounce to the other room, and you kind of bounce back and forth. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is just going to be a really awkward stare down until one of them shoots the other one. I'm I mean, not expecting Tack. I'm not expecting Tack Dylan to try and make the press. I, um, he can leave. He has other means of exit from this room. Tox does not. So I expect Tack to just sit there and wait. He's sitting right in the corner to just kind of do a quick whip out, mm -hmm. quick peek, one pump, try and go for the head. Um, he has really good placement for his cursor. And we're gonna be into a quick fight here as T gonna get taken down by E O Bronx. Eobrox is going to put shots down over towards Flax as well. Has fur nearby. Now sees a Grizzly. That thing is on fire. But this Mexican standoff, right? That's what they call these where you just sit on one side. I love that we have the ability to see the cameras from Bull different angles. Bull gets taken out by Strike Zone, actually. He's going to go down in 30th for round number one. Shaman now looking for a couple shots onto that vehicle. He's somebody that's been or, uh Sorry, Bronx has taken shots at that vehicle. Uh... He's really fighting like three sides. He, we've watched him just take fights against multiple people here. He's not afraid to throw shots and not afraid to, even though everybody knows where he is, continually turn to take the fights. And here comes the shotgun battle. But Tack actually has stepped off the corner, isn't holding it the way that he was before, and that opens up the room for Tox to come in and make the play. He then had the peak advantage where Tack could have had it had he been on the edge of that door still. Tack threw a grenade into that room forcing him out, but the delay from switching back to the weapons. And the backup kind of yeah. kind of got him. Get him. Ooh, Eo Bronx going to get uh, eliminated there by Grizzly. Surprising, too. He had the high ground. Yeah, so Tack, uh, I think Tack had an opportunity there. I think he definitely lost it in that rotation back into the room. He kind of gave that up. Ichi going to go down. JDX going to go down. Grizzly also going to go down here. Last one getting taken out by Flaxa there on the screen. And then we are on board now with Brennan and going to move over to Fragola instead. Well, Fragola was the one he was running from, but now we're going to see where this goes. How much water is going to be in the safe zone? That A Ooh. lot, a lot of it. So, I mean, this is one of those things where in Z2 we talked about it. Like, we would get circles over the water where it was just – you basically consider it a, a no-man zone. It's, yeah. it's dead. It's, it's unusable. There's maybe a, a rock or two, especially in fives. It's not going to be usable. Mm -hmm. In solos, it's even less usable because there's more people, more spread. Correct. Um, so it condenses the circle quite a bit. That's going to cut off probably a third of the circle there. So that's going to make this final portion get sped up just a little bit. Molotov coming in, though, from Xena. We lose another player over on the other side of the map. Oh, Xena's out. It's uh, setting up a little fire and getting out of there for Jola in a shotgun battle here. Oh, Down really low, it. finds oh. the Elim, but gets taken out from behind by Blackta. Xena now looking for shots on to Thuzma still. He's kind of, he's playing this one right. He's dipping in and out onto him. He knows that he has the advantage because he has a vehicle, Ooh. but whoa, <laughs> he's just going to hop out, sees Mitch's gaming, takes him out. Now he's able to get back into his vehicle, and we'll see if he pushes over towards anybody else, but... That's confusing for him. That's confusing for Mitch. You hop out because he's trying to go the other direction. Mitch sees him hop, thinks that he's going to get shot, so you could hear the delay in shots for a second as he tried to get ready. Tox gets another Elim from that bathroom. Ooh, the disrespect with the laugh at the end. At but Mitch had to have been like, what in the world is going on? Xena turn, got that quick kill, and then Xena, as you can see in the kill feed, has once again just got himself another Elim, though, with that shoddy. He is not the um, Thuzma, though. The no. Thuzma is still out there. So Tox has owned that cabin, completely owned it, and right now you can see we've got Vamsi back very close to the gas. Flax is near the gas. Sees Lilo right in front, but I, he's not going to hop to shoot yet. He's going to wait a little bit before he does. Now he's going to see if Lilo is going to come up. He, he throws that grenade down into the smoke, but Lilo's already moved. But Xena, great here with Zeta, and Xena goes down. 
Xena had a good chunk of kills too. Yeah, Xena had quite a few, and another Elim gonna come at the hands of a shoddy this time coming from Blackta onto Ricardo Hugh. Gonna hop over to Flaxa, who we saw lob that nade into nothingness down there. And still one. throwing him at nobody. He doesn't realize that player has completely rotated away. He he's not there, man. He's moved on, and you need to also. Well, Zeta Skins is trying to heal Ooh, up. Sounds shot. like he that was has a hunting a rifle. Hunting rifle, yeah. He might have seen Strike Zone there. I think he took a shot at over at Urson is what it looked like. The tracer looked Quite like. Quite possible. I mean, either player he sees who wants to do it tomorrow has a great angle on Vamsi, and I'm not sure Vamsi has any idea that he's here. Vamsi's jumping around looking for the players over the edge of that ridge. If I'm tomorrow here, I'm firing in. Must not feel confident in what the shot that he has. Right now would be the opportunity also. The guy has a car. You don't have a vehicle. This is the moment to try. and This could be a big out. come up for the end of this match. This could really set you up to go far in this round, and he's not taking advantage of it. Leon going to get himself an Elim onto Black, though. We're down to 12, just two outside of the top 10, which is what all these guys are waiting for. Maybe that's what it is. He just doesn't want to do anything until he's top 10. I mean, quite possibly, but again, he's seen the... There's the a goal they are. Pasaki. I knew Pisaki. I knew Pasaki's name. <laughs> I knew I knew that name. I'm like pretty sure I'm pretty there. sure he's holding the 2017 showdown gold AR. Lilo's gonna cut right through the middle. You can see Leon over there, but Urson does find strike zone. It looks Ooh. like he was in a berry bush. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, so. strike zone. That that outfit's not gonna work here, not today. Flax is gonna throw out that grenade. Tox does go down, but from the now, other side. Can Flax to get the angle? It looks like he's not even about bother going for this, but now. Tamar is right in front. Flaxta not going to bother going for it. Has Leon now in front of him. He's just running. There's no no need for this. Once He does not want to get pitched. Yeah, he, he's, trying to, he's trying to find a position where he can get a, uh, an isolated fight. And it looks like he feels comfortable hopping here for a moment. Oh. Vamsi's car going to be on fire. He's going to have to let that one go. Flax is going to get taken out by Urson on a headshot. That explosion, he walks right into it, eats a little bit, throws out the nade, gets it on uh, Tamara, and now running from the gas. Vamsi going to be able to get out of there, so good plays by him. Even though I thought the walking into the car was bad, he got the grenade. We're going to call it a we'll call it a plus one. That's more than going even. And now the shoddy rush out of uh, I can't... We lost the name. Batata? Batata? I think that was the name was. Uh, Batata Leon is who I've been saying. Leon's pinch between Vamsi and Lilo. And Lilo threw that Molotov up, forcing Vamsi back. Right now, top five. These, this is where you want to be. So now it is just that battle for who's going to take home the the chicken dinner for this one. Uh, I mean, this is close. Pasaki going to get taken out there in fifth. One of the people that has performed, obviously, in the showdowns before. How is Vamsi surviving AR. in that water? Bam, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like anybody's really focusing him. He's just kind of hanging out. I think there's a small rock there that he's hanging out on. May just not be visible from any angle to any of these players. One of those guys out on the right side should see him pretty soon, though. L uh, Leleo here in the shotgun battle going to win that one against Leon. Now Vamsi's Ooh, putting shots into Lilo. Beams. Still sees him. Lilo's not giving up. Should have got off that. Got behind a rock. Now it's a 1v1. Zeta has it, the you... car. Oh, he gets out. It's going to be a battle, but he goes down. Vamsi. Lines up the shot. So Zeta taking that one down. <laughs> <laughs> the emotes at the end. Love it. Uh, landing that shot. Seeing him go behind the uh, behind the tent there yep. was able to still line the shot up the shot's going to go straight through that tent he's going to pump him chunk him for a bit of damage able to finish him up with the with the follow-up shot yeah so 